basically I write on a website called booksy.com and what I do is I publish work on there to get feedback from people on the website. A friend of mine told me about Booksy and said it would be a really good way for me to get my work out there. And then I just put up a couple of chapters one at a time and I got some really good feedback. So then I started putting up more and more work. You have a bunch of different people from a bunch of different backgrounds and they have so many different points of view as opposed to having friends that are gonna generally have the same ideas. It's just more like you're sending it out into the world. When I first started on Book C, before I even made an account, what I really focused on was the copyright laws because at that time I was really focused on wanting to get my work out there without having to worry about people stealing my work. I read that and then I made an account. When you join the site automatically puts copyright laws protecting the book so that you can end up publishing it without any backlash. I think that copyright for those sorts of things that we're writing on Booksy is very important because we put a lot of effort into these works and we do try and put our best work out there. I wouldn't want anyone stealing that kind of work. I, I think I would be really infuriated. I mean, I spend so much time working on these sorts of things and I want to be able to have a future in writing as well. So if I read that someone stole my work, I don't know what I'd even do. It's just kind of, I don't even want to think about that sort of thing. Other authors' works are a big inspiration for me. My favorite books, my favorite authors on Booksy, they all contribute to my writing overall. Their writing styles and the way they that they communicate their message really all end up being thrown into my own work. The thing is with getting influenced by a certain author is that you're not stealing their plot line. You're not trying to just take credit for their own idea. You're trying to find a better way to write your own novel and through them you find that. I mean, I don't want to have to like steal anyone else's work or to have them feel like I stole it. I mean, I know how that feels being an author on the website. So I know that it can't be a good feeling. What's really great about the internet in general is that amateurs, people that wouldn't have the chance usually to have their work out there, is able to put it out and get comments and know that people actually appreciate what they're doing. You're getting a chance to become something more and it's really, it is exciting, it's so exciting to be able to see people appreciating what you do, whereas it would, if you were just keeping it to yourself, it would be just with your friends and your family.